Base Chicks and Base Suits. This is your girl here, Holly Franklin Base Chick, coming at you with a new video today. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the Natural Minor Scale. What's going on, you guys? So here is the A Natural Minor Scale on the whiteboard. And also in this uh, whiteboard demonstration, I'm also going to show you the parallel key to the scale just to so you, show you the difference in the intervals and steps between the notes to better identify and recognize the minor scale. So as you can see the A minor scale has no sharps and no flats in it which makes it a very easy scale to remember. And what I'm going to show you next are where the changes are. So these little arrow things here are going to show the changes in the steps and in the steps of the notes. So now I'm going to do the A major scale which will show the difference. So as you can see we have our C sharp and then our F sharp and then our G sharp but everything else is the same as the minor. So the C sharp so our third, our sixth and our seventh intervals are actually going to be different between the two. So when we go from the A major scale to the A minor scale, we are lowering the third, sixth, and seventh steps a half step. So in the major, between the three and the four is a half step. In the minor, between the three and the four, it is a whole step. So to play it, we have our bases out. So first we have A, which is our root note, B, is our second note and that's just a whole step. C is our third note and that's a half step interval. And then from C we go to D which is a whole step and that's our fourth and then our fifth is E and that is a whole step from D. And the next is F and that's a half step from E and that is our sixth note and then our seventh note is G which is a whole step from F and then finally our octave, which is A, and that's a whole step from G. So what makes the natural minor scale unique is where the half steps are and where the notes vary from the major scale. And on the whiteboard, as you saw, um, the difference is between the third, sixth, and seventh steps. So, and you can see it on here with the fingerings as well. So our A, we have our pointer, and we're doing the A, we're doing the 5th fret on the E string. So A, we are using our pointer. B, we are using our ring. C, we are using our pinky. And then we go on to the 5th fret on the A string. And that's going to be D using our pointer. And then E using our ring. F using our pinky. And then we're going to go to the D string. We're going to do the 5th fret, which is G using our pointer and then A using our ring. So it's pointer, ring, pinky, pointer, ring, pinky, pointer, ring. So on that last, the last two notes, we're just using our pointer and our ring, no pinky. So it's pretty easy to remember how it looks going across three strings. If we did it across one string, it's basically the same position we're just doing on one string. So I'm going to use the E string is our example with the A minor scale. Actually, I'll get a little bit closer for you. So we have A, B, C, and then we're just going to move up D, E, F, G, A. And instead of doing the pointer ring, which you can do, I like to do the middle finger and the pinky finger. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. It is always important to play the scale up and down your fretboard. So I just showed you two positions of the minor scale there. So that's it, really. It's The natural minor scale is pretty easy to understand. It just varies from the major scale with the third, sixth, and seventh steps and how you play it on your bass, on the fretboard, whether you're going across three strings, one strings, two strings, it's going to vary very slightly 
Um, it's usually the last two notes that are going to vary with your fingerings. But you can keep it pretty consistent if that's something that you want to stick to. It's really just up to what you're most comfortable with with your fingerings on the fretboard to really remember it. And there's also the melodic and harmonic minor scales that I will be teaching you in the next lesson. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.